ETV. This is live from the Ski Lodge. It is the world famous DJ Ski at our brand new headquarters. And um, in addition to new offices, I got something special in, in this bag. I want to share with you guys first. So now this is old. It's the old iPad. We have the brand new iPad 2. This is the AT&T 3G version. So um, let me give you my unboxing of it and initial review, especially since I've been, had this since day one when it came out last year. Is it worth upgrading? Find out. Ski TV, DJ Ski Review. So here we go. We got the white edition. The reason I got the white is because I felt like the, the black one looked too similar to the old black version from last year. So taking it out. Of course, it comes in the same clean, super simple Apple box without much. It comes with a USB cable, charging dock. And then in here, I think we have the SIM eject. Right, yeah, a little paper clip to eject the SIM card and a small pamphlet on how to use it. So um, let's turn this on and see how it works. And now I'm ready to give you my first um, initial review on what I think it is. So overall, definite improvement. I mean, it's just a lot smaller and a lot easier to carry around, especially because of the smart case, which I'll show you in a second. But um, I mean, obviously, it's, it's a much cleaner design, smaller overall, like I showed you earlier, it doesn't rock. The, it has two cameras on it, one in the front, one in the back. Although the cameras aren't that amazing, it's still great, but um, overall after playing with it, it does seem noticeably faster than the original iPad. And um, initially you obviously notice the brand new iOS 4.3, which is also available for the original iPad, but um, it just seems, to, Safari seems to move a lot faster, as you can see I'm on ESPN. Still, still same great iPad experience. I mean, it's obviously the best tablet, I still think, in the world. But um, going on to the things that really made it stand out and made it purchase worthy for me. So first up is the FaceTime. So as you can see, if you're familiar, if you have the iPhone 4, which I have one right here, you, you might know about FaceTime where you can talk to people and now it's available on Apple computers as well. Well, right here you can actually see if you come across to this side, you can see yourself in it through the front camera. One of my favorite things about the iPad 2 are the new iPad smart covers. In the original iPad, there wasn't any great case options. I actually thought the convertible cases by Encase were the best, even though they were still added a bunch of thickness, which when you're trying to stuff a ton of stuff before you hit the road and go on a plane, train, automobile, wherever you're going, even in your daily bags, every little centimeter really matters. And I didn't like the Apple case at all in the original iPad, but um, this new smart covers that you see right here, there's actually two versions. They're a little pricey. The leather ones are like this one are 69 bucks. The polyurethane ones are $39, but definitely a must have. As you can see, I've added it on. The, if you just notice right there, it's a magnetic grip. So it's nothing that's attached. It's nothing you have to screw in. You see it's locked. It takes, comes on and off instantly. So I'll put it back on just like that and everything clicks right into place. And it even knows when it's on and locks your iPad. In summary, to me, the iPad 2 is definitely worth getting if you don't have an original iPad and are looking to get a tablet, or if you have to have the latest and greatest electronics. To be honest, if you already have the original iPad and you're not trying to spend the money, you don't really care, it's not a revolutionary upgrade. Again, it's pretty much all the same, minus the cameras, minus speed increases, minus a little smaller shell and, and the smart cover. But if you have to have the latest and greatest, if you have to, if you want to travel with something smaller, or if you want to talk to people through FaceTime, then this is definitely the way to go. The Verizon ones are, I hear are the exact same, so it's just a matter of preference and whichever network works better where you are in terms of AT&T versus Verizon. I definitely recommend getting the 3G version though, just because you're able to use it on the road without a Wi-Fi connection, which for me is huge when you're in airports or places where they want to pay, where they want to charge you $10 for 10 minutes on, on a Wi-Fi connection. You can just pull up your iPad instead and it all works from there. So in summary, iPad 2, great device, evolutionary, not revolutionary from the original iPad. If you have to have the latest things or if you don't have an iPad and you've been looking at a tablet, definitely look at this. For me, I'm super happy with it though and uh, I'm going to go enjoy it. and. Use it to save my life on planes. This is DJ Ski signing out. iPad day one review right here, Ski TV. Yeah.